you having trouble getting through your first 30 days of NoFap? Are you wondering how others have made this happen? What they've done to be successful? And do you think it's impossible for you to do 30 days of NoFap? Well, stick around. I'm going to answer these questions for you and I'm going to give you some tips on how you too can make this happen. If you are having trouble doing 30 days of NoFap, it's normal. It's, it's okay. Lots of guys have tried and failed. Lots of them just didn't know what to expect, didn't know how hard it was going to be, didn't have any real guidance on how to be successful. But I'm going to try to clear that up for you right now. First of all, let's be honest about what to expect. Your first two weeks are going to be rough. They're going to be tough. It, it's a new frontier for you. You're, you're used to masturbating, you're used to porn, you're used to that dopamine, and when you take that away, you're going to feel like something's missing in your life. It's really hard. It's very hard. It, it's gonna, it's new uncharted territory. You're, you're going to be miserable, possibly. I know I was. The, the best advice to help you get through this is to make sure you have a plan for your first two weeks. Things are going to keep you busy, keep you occupied, so that it's not going to be such a drudgery, and such a, a misery, because it really wouldn't, shouldn't be that bad, but it, it, it can happen. Your second two weeks of your first 30 days, actually that's 28 days, but we're going to say 30, but we'll say your second two weeks. That that's going to be easier. You, you've gotten over the worst part of your hurdle. That, that's the worst, your first two weeks. Now you're on to the second two weeks. Things should be seeming a little more normal. You should be starting to feel better about yourself, particularly because your prolactin levels that were way up here, well, now they're down here. They've gone down. What has happened? Well, your serotonin levels have shot up. Your testosterone has shot up. That actually fluctuates throughout the day and on a week to week basis, but it's going to be higher than it was when you were PMOing. So you should be starting to feel more aggressive. And that doesn't mean negative. Aggressive could be meaning more driven. You, you want to get stuff done. You should be feeling happier. I think testosterone is a happy hormone. I, I think it is what gives us our energy as men makes us feel driven and passionate about getting things done. So th that's a good thing. I have developed in my Discord server what I call the three pillars to NoFap success. And it requires all three. And the first one is commitment. That is the thing you do on the first day of NoFap. You commit to whether you're going to do NoFap or you are not gonna do NoFap. That's the decision you have to make. There, there's no try. There's no maybe. If you don't say yes to no fap, you are saying yes to fapping. The second pillar is mindset change. This is where you change how everything works in your mind. This is where you change how you view sex, how you view women, how you view everything. You, you have to start seeing it from a natural, positive point of view. Not a disgusting, dirty, filthy, pornographic point of view. Not a, a lustful point of view where you're constantly thinking dirty stuff with the one goal in mind, and you know what that is, which is to get off. But think about it. To get off, you lose your drive. You lose your ambition in life. You, you, you lose so much. And think of it as a light bulb. When you turn a light bulb off, how much do you see? Well, you're going to see an awful lot more when you stay turned on. That's for sure. So don't get off. Stay turned on. This is what mindset change is going to help you do. It's going to get you out of that mode, which drags you right back to relapse. The third pillar is sexual energy transmutation. Now that you've committed, now that you have changed your mindset, it's time to transmute that sexual energy. You're going to feel it. You're going to feel it radiating in your body. You're going to feel it pulsing up through you into your mind. Your mind is going to feel more alive, more alert. This is where you get creative. Either in, if you're artistic, you can use your creativity there. You can do it with your job, do it with your relationships. 
th there are so many things. There's just a few examples. There are so many things in life that you can do. I'm transmuting right now by making videos, by constantly thinking, um, how can I improve my videos? How do I make scripts better? How do I improve everything? That's all part of where I'm putting my energy into right now. So you can do the same thing with any other part of your life. The question is, are you going to put in the work? Others, including me, have succeeded with NoFap by doing these three pillars that I just discussed. They may call them something differently. Um, my brand is, I just call them the three pillars of NoFap success. It's just something I came up with by analyzing what I had done wrong in the past and what would prevent me from continuing on that path in the future. Take any one of these pillars away and everything just falls flat. Think of them as, as pillars holding up a triangle. You have to have all three in place. If one pillar falls and the triangle is going across them, it's going to tip and fall as well. So you have to have all three pillars in place to make this a success. Not going to lie to you, no fat takes effort. It takes work. It is not something that just happens. You just stop doing what you're doing. It's not that simple. It takes effort. It takes work. You have to do this. No one can do it for you. Just like no one can trigger you, no one can do this for you. So NoFap is a personal journey that we all take. We collaborate with each other to help each other, but ultimately we all have to walk down the path to make this happen. And you have to make this happen. You can't wait for it to happen. I've seen too many guys relapse by sitting in a dark room they're, they're just like staring into space, they're bored, they're just laying on their bed, they're not doing anything. And they're saying, how much more time until I can add one more day to my journey? Well, here's the thing, we talk about day counts with NoFap all the time. A day count is a reflection of what's behind you. It's a reflection of the time you have spent improving yourself. But actual NoFap is what you are achieving by doing it. It's that simple. So remember, your day count is your past. NoFap is your future. It's a lifestyle. It's not a challenge. You, you can't just do it to compete with your buddies or compete with others online you don't even know. It, it's, it's a journey. It's a lifestyle. And trust me, if you go back to PMO, you're going to be addicted all over again. It's the same with alcoholics. It's the same with drug addicts. That's what happens. So if you still think it's impossible to do 30 days of no fab, then you're not committed and that's the first step. It seriously requires commitment. You have to be decisive. You have to make it happen. And now I'm going to give you some tips on how to be decisive. No fab success requires a positive can-do attitude. That means none of this I'm going to try it. None of this, I don't know. None of this, I hope. None of this, I can't do this. If you're going to be negative, you are convincing yourself that you can't do something. It's that simple. If you're positive and say that I will do this, this is how I'm going to make this happen. These are the steps I'm going to do that are going to make me successful. Acknowledging it's going to be difficult. Do that. Acknowledge it's going to be difficult, but you are going to succeed. By telling yourself this, you are setting yourself up for success. By being negative, you're setting yourself up for failure. So ultimately, when people relapse, it's all their fault. You have to take total responsibility. It's all your fault. Just like your success is all your fault. But in a good way. No fap success involves not hiding behind excuses. I've heard so many times about triggers or random erections, or as they're called, random boners. I like to use more politically correct terms. Um, oh, I saw this woman walking down the street. She was so hot. I, I just couldn't wait to go home and, and beat off. Well, that, that's where you're failing right there. You are allowing other outside influencers and influences to dictate what you're going to do. And that's not the way it has to happen. You have to be in control. You have to be in charge. You make the decisions. Others don't. No fab success means taking all responsibility.
taking full responsibility. Again, you have to be in charge. And you have to own up to the fact that your failures are your fault and your fault alone. And if that's a bitter pill to swallow, hey, we've all been there. No one likes to be told that they're wrong. <laughs> no one does. But by being told that you're wrong and by telling yourself that you're wrong, that's where you're going to make that first step to improving yourself and turning things around. No fap success takes living above your addiction. Up here, not down here. If you're living down here below your addiction, you are letting your addiction control you. You are giving up control. You are giving power to your addiction. That's not the way it works. You need to be living up here. You need to be in charge. You control your destiny. You decide your journey. You make it happen. The ones living down here, they are the ones who are constantly relapsing. They're also, you've heard them, they're negative. They, they don't take responsibility. They don't put in the effort. That is the difference. No fap success will release you from your PMO prison. And it is a prison, guys. You know it, you know that you've got responsibilities and you know you're shirking those responsibilities so that you can go jerk off. I did it too. Um, I've said in previous videos, at my worst, I was edging up to 18 hours a day. I wasn't even ejaculating, I was just edging. I just wanted to stay high. I didn't want to ejaculate and lose that high. I just wanted to stay high. I was messing with my mind. It, it was horrible, the stuff I was getting into. So it is a prison. And because of it, I wasn't accomplishing things in life. I wasn't socializing. I wasn't doing the extra overtime at work. I wasn't accomplishing what I wanted to in my life. But that's all changed now, thanks to no faps. So this is something I hope that I can get you into too and get you out of your prison as well. And again, to be brutally honest, you don't want to hear this, but I'm going to say it anyway because you need to hear it. Your failures with no fap are your fault. You, you, you are at fault. It's all your fault. And if you're not gonna accept that, you're not gonna succeed. Once you get over the fact that it is your fault, then you can start making progress with no fat. Then you can start making progress with the rest of your life. And then you can start being the man that you were born to be. Here are some tips to get over these faults. Use affirmative thinking, be positive. Have a can-do attitude. Tell yourself, I'm going to do this. I can do this. I will do this. Be decisive in your thinking. Don't be wishy-washy. If you start hearing yourself using conditional terms like, I think, I'm going to try, I hope, I don't know, or maybe, you're going to fail again. Be decisive. Just say that, I will. This will happen. This is what I'm going to do. This is how it's going to end up. This is how I'm going to change things. That's going to make all the difference right there. Finally, be a victor, not a victim. The victors live up here. Okay? The victims live down here. The victims are allowing others to control them. The victors up here, well, that's different. They're taking charge. They're taking control. They are in control, not all the other things that the victims are being subjugated to. So you have to decide, are you going to be in control of your destiny or are outside factors going to be in control of your destiny? The real power of NoFap isn't something that someone gives you. The real power of NoFap is something that you take. And you have to decide, are you going to take it? Do you want to be in control of your own destiny? Personally, I do. So remember that. The real power of NoFap is something that you take for yourself. And you have to have that attitude in order to succeed. I truly hope that in this video that you are learning something that is going to put you on the path to success. And if uh, while watching this video, some questions have popped up in your mind, some concerns, please put them in the comments below. I want to hear your comments. 
it, it might help me make uh, better videos in the future. It may help me answer questions that you have that are going to make you more successful. That's the whole point of this. I just want to spread the knowledge around that I've learned. If you're not comfortable publicly commenting, well, my email address is in the description as well. You, you can do that too. I've had several people do that. That's fine, you know, as long as they get some help. But once you get used to talking publicly and you start seeing others' comments, you'll realize that, hey, I'm one of these people. They're just like me. I'm just like them. We're trying to help each other. We're going to succeed together by helping each other. Then you'll be more comfortable. And something about comfort too with NoFap, you have to get comfortable being uncomfortable with NoFap. And you start to get comfortable with that. You start to embrace it. It'll start to help you. It will propel you and motivate you as it has me. So please, anything I can do to help you guys, let me know. That is what I want to do. So don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell for future videos, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace.